In this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips for choosing wine. If we haven't met before, my name is James Follett and I believe the world of wine is beautiful and complex. So I create videos for wine lovers to learn more about the world of wine. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now let's jump into the three tips. Using the Dan Murphy's website as an example for my three tips. So now when we're searching for wine, the tip number one is to set your budget. Know the maximum amount that you're willing to spend. I like to personally try and spend an average of 25-ish dollars a bottle. So some lower, some a little bit higher. But to make it affordable and accessible, let's use $25 as the example of the maximum. Tip number one was to set your budget. Then you want to know the style of wine that you're looking for. For example, if I was going for a Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Sav, could select that, narrow it down and see what comes up. So Pepper Jack has an offer. The Kuniga Hill Cabernet Sauvignon also has an offer. So that could be using the style of wine can help you narrow that down. If you're not sure, you could go, go more general and just look at the entire red wine category or the entire white wine category to see what is there and see what is available as one way of looking at it. So knowing the category or the style of wine is the other tip for finding a bargain. My third tip is looking for cellar release wine. So wine that has already been aged for you, that is from the cellar release series that has been in the optimal conditions to be able to age the wine and see the flavors develop. It means you don't have to worry about storing them yourself or looking after your own cellar or renting your cellar in my case. It means you can find old wine or older wine that has been well stored for you and see if that's something you're interested in. So you could find uh, something interesting like a 2014 Marcinet or even it'd be really interesting to see how that Jacobs Creek Kunawara Cabernet Sauvignon is drinking from 2014 but be aware that often with that it's out of stock and as a bonus tip you can also go in and search by the Langton's classification. Much more risky in terms of how that goes because these ones are out of stock, but you might be able to find something depending on your price range. As well as if you wanted to just search by it more generally, has it won an award for something? With that, that's three tips for finding wine. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up to let me know and see that this video is suggested to other people on YouTube who might also be interested. If you didn't like the video, please dislike the video, give it a thumbs down and comment below to let me know what you don't like about it so I can make better videos in the future for you. And if you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Question of the day is, do you have any value wines you could recommend? comment below and let me know and I might be able to review one of those in a future video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video and remember wine is best shared with friends.